Hello, this is Charles, your Groom Porter at McGregor Historic Games. We're taking a little look at one of the oldest games that we sell, Nine Man Morris, or as we usually play it, Twelve Man Morris. We specifically designed the board so it could be used for either variation on the game. We like to nickname the game Tic-Tac-Toe on Steroids because it uses the basic strategies of Tic-Tac-Toe, but it's a little more complex. Of course, nine man Morris starts out with nine pieces per player, 12 men, 12 pieces. The difference in the board is nine man Morris does not use the diagonal lines connecting the corner spaces. So we specifically designed our board with outlines connecting the corners so you can ignore them for nine man Morris or use them to play the 12 man version as we prefer to. The game starts out with an empty board and the players start taking turns putting the pieces on any spots on the intersections of the lines. Every time you make three in a row of your pieces, you can remove one of your opponent's pieces from the board and that piece is dead for the rest of the game. The players continue that way, taking turns putting pieces on the intersections of the lines, trying to make three in a row, or trying to block their opponent from making three in a row. Once all of the live pieces have been placed on the board, then you can start moving them, sliding them one space at a time along the lines, again trying to make three in a row so you can capture more pieces. You win by reducing your opponent down to just two pieces on the board. One of the rules that we play by is that if you have a three in a row and you break it up, you can't reuse it again the next turn you have to move something else the next turn before you can reuse it again. Otherwise, you just go back and forth and back and forth and pound your opponent down. We consider that too easy. So that's a rule that we added to the game for the way we play. Although, if you do have another piece in uh, position, if you break up a three in a row and move that in, that's another th new three in a row, and that counts for capturing pieces. Again, these are folk games, so they do vary from place to place, country to country, depending on where you learn them. So we include as many variations as we can to help keep the games interesting over the years. We like to say that games are like languages. They have dialects. They change as they go from place to place. You can find our Morris game and all our other historic gaming products on our website at historicgames.com.